Sion, or, uh, Teemo is quite low, but you know, we're not going to be able to push him right here. We don't have anyone with his Sukin Tower Dive. Is anyone else unimpressed by Malhazar? I haven't really seen a game where he's incredibly frightening. I mean, he can get his kills with his ultimate, but, I mean, everyone can sort of say that. Oh, there goes Pantheon. He's leaping into the middle. So we're all going to engage in Tower Dive. We need to get a heal off on him because he's got Tower Aggro. Good. My wish just came up. Am I going to use it? Yes, no. I don't think I've realized it just came online, which is too bad because I would have been able to save myself if I had noticed that it was on. Damn it. And now my whole team's going to get a little bit low. And we got the tower, yay, but oh, I'm so upset that I died there. I did not realize it was so close. Oh, wow, Malhazar just got nuked by something. I'm sure that was a total surprise to both of us. I didn't see that coming, and apparently he didn't either. And it looks like he's going to QQ about Tarek not healing him. Listen, buddy, it doesn't work that way. And the heals, we try to do the heals, but they don't always get there. Mm, let's see, so I finished the Banshee's Veil. So that makes me happy. I don't really have to worry about the stuns quite so much. Maybe, yeah, I'm not sure the Banshee's Veil was the right choice for this fight, but it's never bad. Uh, I think I'm going to start on the Soul Shroud next. I could also go and stack more IP, uh, AP. Uh, I'm not sure which item I would want to get for that. Um... You know, I suppose one option you could do on Soraka is you could rush an early a Rod of Ages. You know what would actually be really good is the Deathfire Grasp, now that I think about it. I don't think I've gotten it in the game yet. Uh, just because with Soraka, you don't necessarily farm that much. So you don't have, you know, enough money to buy an infinite number of items. Although I'm going to get a whole lot of money here. Um, but yeah, the Deathfire Grasp. I think it gives you AP and cooldown reduction. And Hold on, I'm going to look it up. It's an item I don't buy very often because I'm so bad with uh, with activated spells, but it would actually be really good for her. It'd give her a lot more uh, damage output. Yeah, ability power, mana regen, which doesn't really matter. 15% uh, reduced cooldown, and it gives you a nuke. That's a really good item. I should consider getting that more often on her. I should consider getting it more often in general, but uh, I'm so bad about those activated items. But yeah, I think that'd be a good choice for her. I still, I think I still like Will of the Ancients, Boots of Mobility, and then Survival item. But then as a fourth item, Deathfire, yeah. And that then you can start launching it at tanks, take 30% of their health off. Very strong stuff. Oh, looks like they're chasing up top here. They're going to catch Udyr, I suspect. No, he's hard to catch. He's got his ability to move faster. I'm going to try to intercept him. Doom -doom, I'm so strong. I'm Soraka. I actually flash to catch him again. But I just don't have the damage output. I keep doing these super aggressive moves. And there's no point to it because there's nothing I can do even when I catch them. If I had a slow, maybe. Maybe I should pack exhaust. Well, we tear Annie apart. She's horribly, horribly overexposed there. Uh, all right, we're in a good position to maybe push this tower. It is always hard when it's, there, it's defended, but I think, like, Teemo it doesn't have enough health to survive a burst attack. I think Pantheon is going to tear him apart right here. Yeah, wow, so much damage. I'm happy he's on our team. So the tower's got aggro on him, but we're going to be able to keep him healed up. Yeah, the two heals do so much. Someone's pinging the bottom lane, and I'm saying, no, don't worry about it. Ignore it. I'm going to just use a fortify, and I use it now to defend that tower. And we're just going to keep pushing here. Pound on, jump in on Scion and do lots of burst damage, but I'm not sure if they're going to be able to catch him. Yep, Jax is able to finish him off. We got Pantheon doing some tower aggro here. I'm going to try to heal him, but oh! He got pretty low there. He also had uh, one of those like healing debuffs. So no matter what heals we put out, and I think mine may have been on cooldown, not quite able to uh, keep him up. So my heal's up now, my wish is up now, I'm going to type off Malhazar, I suspect, and they give up! Well folks, I hope you enjoy this game, I'm going to be playing some more Soraka, so expect some more Soraka videos and hopefully a little bit more insight as time goes on. Until then, I will see you next time.